Hi everyone, it's Butterfly. And today is day 24 in Heather Carter's 31 Days of Witchcraft Challenge. And today's question is, are you out of the broom closet? If so, how has that experience been for you? <clears throat> I am out of the broom closet. I don't think I've ever really been in the broom closet. And I think I've been very lucky. I've been very lucky that the area that I live in and the people around me um, have been such that I haven't much had problems with being out of the broom closet. Um, I've never really hid being a witch, but there have been moments when I think if the subject had come up, maybe I would have, but the subject just didn't come up. And those were rare occasions, like times when um, I attended um, events at church, for example, in Christian churches, because I'm there with a friend. Um, and there was no reason to like announce <laughs> that I'm a witch there or anything. <laughs> anyway, um, so I just, but if someone, if, for some reason someone had asked me or if the subject had, had come up somehow, maybe I would have um, lied and said that I wouldn't, that I wasn't or something just to make sure that um, my friend's thing wasn't interfered with or distracted from, but nothing like that ever happened. I do remember being at, um, a church service that was in Spanish and my Spanish isn't great but I know some Spanish and I just remember the man who was preaching he got to a little section where in Spanish he referred to the pagans who don't know God and in that moment I was kind of like thinking to myself He's talking about me and my people, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> this is where I am. I'm not even going to be offended, but I kind of, in my head, I kind of laughed to myself. <laughs> um, and I remember when I was a teenager and I had already been a witch for a bit and I was at I was at some drugstore buying makeup things or something with my grandma and there was this lady she just seemed like a friendly lady she looked at my necklace I had like a little smaller pentacle at the time and I think she complimented me on it and she said that my necklace was pretty and am I Jewish because it's a star and Jewish people also have a star but it's a little it looks different but she didn't know, so she asked if I was Jewish. And I was like, I was so, I was already so shy at that age anyway. I was so shy. And then a stranger <laughs> is talking to me. And the first thing that they're asking me about is my religion. And I was like, oh my God, how can I answer this? <laughs> like, how can I answer this without giving too much information or without um, inviting judgment or something? So I think I just... I probably turned red and I was like, no. And she's like, oh, you're not. I was like, no. And then I just kind of scooted away. And she was like, oh, okay. And I was like, and then I remember my grandmother telling me, you could have just told her. And I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so that's about as close to closeted as I have ever been. And, um, except for some rare experiences of judgment within relationships, <laughs> um, 
I really haven't had problems just being openly a witch. So that's how that's worked out for me. And I know that I'm very lucky and that's not everyone's experience. Um, so I'll be interested in seeing your responses and seeing how, how things have been for you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me on this one. Bye.